potassium metabisulfite and potassium sorbate. Let's talk about their shelf life and how long you can actually use them in your brew. Now this video is not intended to dive into what these two products are and what potassium sorbate does or blah, blah, blah. I think that could be a whole separate video because there's a lot that goes into what they are and how they apply. This video is specifically for if you know what they are and you wanna know how long you can safely store and use both of these products. So I ran across some issues a while back that I didn't quite understand. I had used potassium sorbate in this form and potassium metabisulfite in Camden tablet form, stabilized one of my brews and back sweetened, did my whole thing, you know, sent some stuff off to a friend. Uh, and like six months later, they opened a bottle and they were like, hey, was that supposed to be carbonated? It was not supposed to be carbonated. What happened there was my stabilizers did not work. And I was going back and forth in my head thinking, what did I do wrong? Did I accidentally not stabilize it? Did, whatever. After some research, I discovered your stabilizers can go bad. Now, this should be a, a duh moment because I think somewhere on the bottle it probably says, you know, uh, use before blah, blah, blah time. This one doesn't. But your stabilizers have a shelf life. Now, the shelf life is extremely dependent on how you store them and how you take care of them. So this is potassium sorbate. It comes in this, again, granulated form, as you can see here. I have stored mine in this, it's airtight container. Really, it's not super airtight, but it's it's okay. And I often buy like an eight ounce bag of it and I will use it pretty quickly. Within a year, six months to a year, I'll use this whole thing of potassium sorbate. Sorbate, when it is stored in an area or in a way that it is allowed to be oxidized quicker, becomes less effective. It's also, uh, gets less effective when it's stored in too humid or hot of an area or temperature range. Those are like the main issues you'll find with aging your sorbate or storing it. You wanna make sure that it is in a cool and not humid temperature range and that the oxygen or air contact is very low because it can affect the uh, strength of it, therefore allowing it to not be as effective. So when I sent my bottle off to my friend, more than likely my sorbate that I had had at the time, not the same one that's in here, had lost of its effectiveness and was not gonna work. Now, the shelf life on the Google data says this is like 24 months. Obviously, me storing this in here, opening it quite a bit, is going to let more oxygen in. Humidity, cool temperature up here is not a problem. I guarantee you that I just opened this up a, a bunch and let oxygen in, it became less effective. So my new protocol for sorbate is to replace it like every nine months, basically. Um, and that just means if there's some left in here, I'm gonna go ahead and dump it and start over with, with fresh stuff so I know it works. The other one is potassium metabisulfite. This is Camden tab, these are, excuse me, Camden tablets. You can also buy potassium metabisulfite in like a powder form and use it that way. In a similar way, potassium metabisulfite has a shelf life generally of about 12 months from what I've seen online, and it has the same sort of um, storing things. You wanna make sure that you don't store it in a hot or humid area, and that it, the oxygen that is around it is pretty airtight. I leave mine most often in this little container, which is like airtight, but not really. Um, these do come in these little uh, basically pod forms. And I think that does help allow them to not go bad as quickly is because there's a binding agent mixed in. So that's not just the pure metabisulfite. If you are using metabisulfite, you want to store it in something that is airtight, those things. Same thing. If you don't have a, a metabisulfite that is going to have full potency or effectiveness, there's a good chance that it will not work in your brew. Therefore, your, your back sweetening or whatever you do is not going to uh, stay. That more than likely the yeast will be able to fight through the stabilizing that you've had. So I don't know if you've had this issue. I definitely have. And I've learned that you have to replace your sorbate, metabisulfite. And maybe some of you never have this issue because you buy it in small amounts. If you buy uh, both of these products in like, you know, 
a couple little Camden tablets at a time, fresh and a little baggy of sorbate, you probably haven't seen this issue. But the moment you step up to larger quantities, you might. So my warning is that you need to make sure and replace it quite often. If you haven't brewed in a year or two and you pull out that sorbate, maybe you go ahead and just buy some fresh just to make sure that it has what you need to do the right thing. I am going to make a video that talks about sorbate, metabisulfite, um, and potency and those things and, and what it is. I understand people don't like to use it and that's valid. I understand people like to use it. That's also valid. I'm not trying to push you to go in either direction, but I do want you to know the cautionary things to replace it often so that you can have good quality that will actually work. I hope you've enjoyed this. I like to do these shorter informational videos just to give a more direct uh, opinion or a bit of information about a topic. If you want to hear a specific topic talked about, please uh, comment below and I will try and do my best. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>